Time for some Wine Wednesday. Oregon winemaking is getting a little greener. AFI Wines is among just nine wineries in the state now awarded a B Corp certification. It's a recognition given to companies with a commitment to sustainability. So joining us live as we look ahead to Earth Day is Jessica Mosaico, owner of AFI Wines in Newburgh. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, morning, appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Well, congrats on the certification, first of all. Um, so when we say the term B Corp, what, what does that mean? That's right. So B Corps are, it's a third party certification that evaluates a very rigorous process of evaluating a company's commitment to the environmental sustainability, um, diversity and equity and transparency. Oh, very cool. And something that I think, you know, uh, as consumers want to know more and more about where their sure. food and drinks are coming from, that, that's a, a great mission to have. So only nine Oregon wineries out of hundreds have this B Corp certification. So this is very cool. You guys are, are, are pioneers in this regard. Uh, why was this important for you to, to go this route? Well, yeah, Emily, it's less than 1% of Oregon wineries have this certification. Wow. Um, the reason I decided to um, follow the path is because as a very small winery, we only produce about 2,500 cases a year or so. Um, I consider it sort of a blueprint of things that I can do in my actions and practices that will help me live my values of a commitment to sustainable winemaking, community, and diversity and equity. Mm, I mean, this, may, this may not be a great question, but I'm curious to know, how difficult is this? You know, like, how, how out of your way do you have to go to uh, achieve this mission and be certified as B Corp? It's a really rigorous process of um, <clears throat> feeling of, of um, sharing transparently what a lot of your decision making and practices are. So it's a really big signal of commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Seems would like imagine. It would be. Yeah. Well, I know we, we've talked with you in the past because AFI has always been very mission driven behind their wines. You've taken on different charitable causes with different bottlings. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about what you're currently working on right now. What, what's in your wine selection these days? That's right. So I have two wines that um, support specific causes. Um, one is that our Gabriela Pinot Noir uh, supports my daughter, Gabriela, so it's named after her, um, was born two months prematurely, and we spent the first month of her life living in the NICU. So it proceeds from the Gabriela Pinot Noir support uh, the NICU, where she and I spent the first month of her life at Providence NICU. Wow. Um, yeah, and then we also have Stem and Root Pinot Noir, which is in support of STEM education for girls, specific, specifically through the Girls, Inc. Eureka program. Oh, that, that that's awesome. So cool. Yeah, that's that's great. I mean, obviously, there's the uh, uh, connection with, with your daughter, but where do you find these causes? Where do you draw this inspiration from with, with other, because like Emily said, this isn't your first time creating wine with a purpose behind it. Yeah, well, it's just an important part of why, you know, I think that as a winery, we're very connected and reliant on our land, our seasons, and our community. It's our responsibility to leave them in a better place for my daughter's generation. So, for example, with STEM education, um, we had very little uh, wine from the 2020 vintage. And so what little we had, I wanted it to do some good and raise some awareness and funds for something that I cared about. My background is in STEM. I came from the biotechnology field. Um, and so our roots are in STEM and it just made sense to support STEM education for girls. That's very cool. Yeah, and, it is. And your Pinot Noirs are beautiful. So tell us where we can find them. <laughs> yeah. So um, all of our wines can be found on our website, www.afewines.com. And then around town, you can find our Willamette Valley Pinot Noir at um, most New Seasons, Zupans, Whole Foods, and of course, independent wine stores. All right. More than one reason to drink for multiple causes, and uh, they are also just delicious. Yes. So uh, you can find them in those spots. Well, Jessica Mosaico, really appreciate your time this morning. Uh, thank you so much, and I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Thank you, Travis and Emily. All right, Thanks. take care. And to find out how you can get a taste of their wine again, you can go to afewines.com as well to uh, dabble in, in some of those pinots that yeah, they have there. Yeah, very cool to learn about that. The certified B Corp stuff, that is, uh, it is quite the rigorous process yeah. to, to get that stamp of approval. Less than 1% um, of the wineries in Oregon. Yeah, and very cool that, that more and more places are, are going after that now. Pretty cool. Well, tomorrow on AM Extra, our DIY guru.